So hey y'all, welcome back to another video on Goat Off-Road. My name is Bug, and we're taking a little break in the goat build series. Joe and I have been sick. You might be able to hear it a little bit in my voice. But this will take me an opportunity to talk about the awesome response that I got from last week's video. I asked about who my audience is. Who are you? I got a lot of comments telling me, uh, about your lives and about what you do for livings and for fun. So I really appreciate all the feedback there. So I want to tell you a little bit about me and Joe and, uh, you know, we're living in a motorhome now. And so a lot of y'all may not know that story. So again, my name is Bug. Um, that is of course a nickname that Joe gave me. He says I'm cute as a bug. So it's stuck. It's not very feminine, but it has stuck through the years. Uh, sorry if you can hear my dog chewing on a bone. Do you have to? Yes. Um, so sorry about that. I'm originally from South Carolina. Joe and I met in South Carolina in 2014. And he was down visiting family and... Then he went back to Seattle and then he came back to South Carolina and he said, I need to find that girl that works at the cafe that sells fried chicken and sweet tea. So he did. He tracked me down and he asked if I had any plans that night and I said, I didn't. And he said, well, you do now. And so that was it. That was, um, we were inseparable after that. So in 2015, we took off in my Ford Edge, drove across the country, and landed here in Seattle. And then there was the three of us. We got his beautiful daughter, Kylie, and I became a stepmom. And then uh, shortly after that, we got our puppy dog, who we named T, short for turd. Yep. And later on, Joe and I bought a 1978 F-250 4x4 camper special. And we took it out the very first time the camper broke. We spent, we spent the night and then he woke up in the middle of the night and had noticed that the camper part over the hood had just bottomed out. So he went back to bed. And then I woke up later that morning and went outside and saw it. And I was like... Okay, so I went back to bed too. So both of us were sleeping in the camper knowing that the bottom is about to fall out beneath our bed and we didn't say anything. And then in the morning we, we broke it to one another that, yep, this camper that we just bought is gone. So luckily the, the people were really nice and gave us our money back for the camper, but we still had this really cool truck and it had the glass pack and that was so cool to drive around town with a glass pack going pop, 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 pop. That was really cool. But... It wasn't quite what we wanted to do on our weekends. I was into CrossFit, really big into CrossFit. It's changed my life and hiking. So I would go and hike the mountains on the weekend and do like CrossFit challenges. But with Joe's hip, he couldn't do that kind of stuff. So we weren't spending our weekends together. And Joe works, I don't. I just stay home and, and edit and keep the house and, and take care of, of Kylie. So we decided that we were going to sell the truck and find ourselves in a venture mobile and we were big fans of bleep and jeep i'm sure a lot of you know matt with bleep and jeep and he had the xj that he was building that became the scorpion crawler so joe just found an xj on on marketplace or craigslist i'm not quite sure where and we went and looked at it and boom took it we are here to look at an xj this is really clean. Look at it. Check this out, guys. This is clean. Wow. We are now Jeep people. And we fell in love with it. And so we started filming our few mods from headlight changes to rust repair to heated seats. And uh, just to see. It was really just for fun for, for us uh, to do things together on the weekend. And so we called the channel It's a Bug's Life. Because I'm, you know, that was, we didn't know what we were going to do with the channel. So we just called it, It's a Bug's Life. Um, so over time, you know, we decided that we're really an off-road channel. 
after going to all the off-road parks and going to Jeep events and Jeep Jamboree. So we decided to take the big risk and rename it Goat Off-Road after we named the Jeep the Gray Goat. And why is it called a goat? Because goats can climb big mountains and scale precipitous slopes. And because it's gray. <laughs> so over time, we have gotten to meet some wonderful people along the way. And one of those people is Matt with Matt's Off-Road Recovery. And I know a lot of y'all came from Matt's Off-Road Recovery. And that's awesome. So in the beginning, before Matt was big, he would comment on my videos and I would comment on his. And then I wanted the, the, the goat. It wasn't the goat at the time, but I wanted our Jeep to be Jeep number three. And so I, I did this video where I put a, a yellow poster board on the Jeep, on the side of the Jeep, and wrote a big number three in black and did a cute little skit that said, hey, Matt, does this qualify? Can I now be Jeep number three? And then Matt responded in one of his videos saying that I am now the honorary Jeep number three. So that was fun. And then we've uh, modeled a little bit of his uh, merch when it first came in. So... Matt and I have been friends for a long time, so it's awesome to see all y'all that have come from him and the banana and now his huge success. Come on and hang out with Bug and Joe and the Grey Goat. Another thing about us is we are full-time RVers. We weren't quite planning to become full-time RVers so soon, but life happens, and so here we are living in a motorhome. But... We do have plans to travel the world and tow the goat and go to all the Jeep events. We're going to go back down to Utah and see Matt real soon. And also in September, it's September 16th, 17th, and 18th at the Wolf Caves in Texas is the ultimate off-road field trip. Bleepin' Jeep's going to be there. I think maybe Mischief Maker and a few of other um, big YouTubers. So we got to get the Jeep and this one-ton build series done soon because we not only have to get it done but then we got to break in the gears and then you know there's always one or two things you got to fix after that so we got to get busy and we have been sick most of the summer we had covid and then now we've both got this like summer cold yeah we got to get back to the build we got to back to the build and i think i'm going to change my upload dates it's from thursday at 4 p.m pacific standard time to sundays and i don't know what time yet I'll make those changes probably with this video. You're probably going to see this video on this Sunday. But uh, a little bit more about me. I, I upload on Instagram at Goat Off Road. I'm on Facebook. And now I'm on TikTok. I've got, I've had a, a video go viral. So now I'm on TikTok. So <laughs> that's Goat Off Road on TikTok too for all you talk fans out there. This dog is still chewing on its bone. And take care of the dog. So that's just a little bit about, about us. And again, I appreciate you guys interacting with me on the last video. That was a lot of fun. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to, be sure and comment below. Tell me who you are. What do you do? Do you have a Jeep? What Do, do you go off road? Are you doing a build yourself? I want to know all about my audience. I want to know about my fans. And if you do want to help out the build or help out just all of our travels, just help out the channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee or... Even a, a gallon of gas. At Patreon, I have tiers. So check out the link below. There's there's tiers there so you can buy as little, as much as you want. You can even just do like a one-time gift. That would be awesome too. Anything would be appreciated. So, But I thank you guys for watching and listening to me ramble on today with my cold. I greatly appreciate it. And we'll be back to the build definitely next week. We'll get um, to back to the build working on it this weekend so I can have an upload for you guys the following Sunday so again I thank you for all of your love your support your comments your likes subscribes and shares and just uh, tell your friends about me too so uh, until next time that I see you guys bug out